hello guys welcome to the automation revolution in our previous video we have uh, learned about uh, basic uh, digital logics and timers and counter operations so now in this video we will learn about uh, mathematical functions like addition sub uh, subtraction multiplication division and basic uh, arithmetic and logic operation so this uh, video we will learn about also uh, function block diagram how we can use in arithmetic log operations so if you want to make any equations or any algorithm in mathematical model so we can use function block uh, to uh, perform uh, arithmetic operation so first we will uh, go for add new block and from there uh, we will select any function block here so i have already uh, taken here function block from the function block uh, you can see here different uh, variable is there so according to our applications we can take uh, input uh, variable in, uh, in uh, output variable this is in out variable static variable we can define or in temporary variable we can define so here i have taken uh, a simple example of y is equal to mx plus c equation a straight line equation so here uh, i have taken variable this x c and m as an input and uh, i have taken y as an output and one te temporary variable I have taken so bo all uh, inputs are integer variable so now I will go for function block and here in network we will take uh, different mathematical block so the equation is y is equal to mx plus c so m and x both are in multiplication so from uh, this basic instructions we will get mathematical block so from there I will take multiplication block here so that I have already taken and then after multiplication of m and x it will be uh, moved into a temporary variable and then we will uh, add this temporary variable with constant c and finally we will get output in y so first we will do multiplication then addition so I have taken two blocks multiplication and addition from this uh, mathematical function block now I have defined this variable here from uh, data block so I can move directly so you can uh, just drag and drop like this or you can define from here also so m and x both are in multiplication and then uh, we'll assign here temporary variable from this list once again in additions i will use uh, this temporary variable and then constant c now i will use this function block into main ob so in main ob i have called uh, this function block like drag and drop so I have used two times I will again you uh, so like this you can just drag and drop so this total equation will be uh, one uh, block in main OB and now directly you can uh, assign here addressing so I am ad assigning addressing uh, from memory word so we can give different value here and finally output I will give uh, so see uh, we are giving addressing memory word uh, with two values keeping because of uh, this word is cons uh, consist of uh, 16 bit resolution so that's why uh, it will not overlap if you will take uh, this addressing within, within uh, skipping two uh, values so when I just uh, call in main OV that time it will generate data block so in each uh, function block has its uh, own data block so here I would also uh, taken second time function block here you can uh, directly give constant value like this I will move it to uh, MW 40 now I will download uh, this programming into PLC let's see how it's performed so th this total equations uh, is uh, now converted into 
function block now we'll monitor so we don't need to uh, do multiple times programming or equation in the same blocks if you do just first uh, time in function block so you can call many times in main ob so here you can see here uh, in mw10 the value is 10 now i'm updating value so i just right click and uh, modify operand so here format should be uh, plus or minus decimal here i'm assigning 10 constant i will assign 5 so you can see uh, in mw18 uh, this equation will uh, give result in y so total m into x and then plus c so total result is 105 same in this blocks we have already given a constant value so we'll get, uh, we are getting output here mw40 after that we'll see more instruction so from this basic instructions more person is there so generally move uh, block is for uh, transferring uh, value from one memory to an another memory so here you can see I have given analog input addressing IW64. So this IW64 is connected with PLC input uh, analog input module, and uh, whatever signal is coming from analog that will be uh, moved into MW60. So you can uh, use this memory word in SCADA or any uh, HMI systems to display the value. So that time, uh, if you want to move any uh, value into memory uh, word or memory double word, you want to display the value in SCADA HMI. Or any other controller you can use for mathematical uh, modeling you can use for any logic operation so that time uh, in that case uh, move block uh, move block is very useful useful uh, for assigning the value so here when i will increase the value at w64 so you can see the value is moved into w60 this value we are getting without scaling means here uh, we are getting uh, the raw value that we'll discuss later on what is actually row value and engineering value because of this 16 bit this value uh, is converted to into uh, a decimal type so like that you can use uh, math uh, mathematical block here uh, different types of instructions given subtraction multiplication division and negative you can see here also what are the different types of block the square root you can uh, use different types of trigonometry functions uh, here they have given you just need to uh, give the parameterization that's it so you will get uh, result directly no need to do any uh, further programming so like, like uh, this drag and drop you can use function block multiple times so in next video we will learn about uh, analog scaling with uh, example if you are not sub subscribed this channel so please uh, first subscribe so you will get notifications when we upload the new videos uh, thank you for watching this video